Sir. No, you should be good, I think. The music is too loud again. Fuck. Okay, we're good. Oh, I got snowballed vassal. Shit. I can't attack my own snowballed. That means I have to pop cooldowns on the second vassal that spawns? Gosh, that's gonna throw off all my cooldown usage. I was holding the Blade Flurry and Adrenaline for a Snowbold. Damn, that's gonna that's gonna throw things off like crazy. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. No, don't go in front and die to spew. Gotta wait. I saw that. I've died to that enough times to know better. Okay. Oh fuck, that was a bad rupture. The boss is almost dead. Okay, get to my warlock. Where's my warlock? Where's my warlock? There we go. Fix of the trade. Okay. Just holding all coolies for uh the the stun phase. Okay, looking good, looking good. 12 seconds to massive crash, so we'll be able to get one rupture refresh in here before the massive crash starts. Nope, I was too late with my vanished fuck. I did it wrong. I'm just a baddie. Probably won't be another massive crash. Thinking we got 12 seconds. No, maybe there will be. Nine seconds? Yeah, we're not killing him fast enough. Oh, I think I was attacking from the front. Shit. There we go.
Now nah, he's dead. Nice. What do we got? Crystal plated Vanguard trophy, trophy, Crusader orb, unrelenting storm, band of violent temperament. Uh, none of that is rogue loot. Yikes. Okay. Grand Warlock Fizzlebang. I'm gonna summon up Lord Jaraxxus for us. It's okay. We got sufficient value from uh, vanishing a massive crash. You know, we weren't going to be able to vanish two of them no matter what. But uh, we got one, so that was good. Which the trinkets. Eridor, Lord of the Burning Legion. Uh, yes, that's correct. Yes, Kirk. Eridar, Lord of the Burning Legion. That's fine. Really, that's that's totally that's cool. I've learned my lesson. We're not getting a second nether portal in this group. So next time I have trinkets available and killing spree available, I'm just going to send it. I'm not going to try to save the killing spree for another portal. This might be a good killing spree. Come on, where's the dark matter? Ah, I thought I was going to get an overlap with blood and dark matter, but I didn't. of Calamitous Fate. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. That's a good rogue item. Crusader or Bracers of Cloudy Omen. Trophy, trophy. Yeah. Okay. Next up... Uh, we got no stealth here doing covering all three rogue poisons. Uh, where'd he go? Let's inspect him. Let me inspect. There we go. Check it out. Deadly brew. Wound. Mind numbing. 
So he's gonna cover wound debuff, crippling debuff, and mind numbing debuff, which means I get to sit here and just crack on uh, with instant poison and deadly poison to uh, do as much damage as I possibly can and hopefully not get disarmed right when I press blade flurry, which uh, that definitely didn't happen before. Don't worry about that, guys. Yeah, I feel like it's actually, like, unironically a pretty good way to do it if you have one rogue. It, uh, no Stealth's talent build, he, um, he took two points in Deadly Brew, but you really don't even need two points. You could get a, you could, you could achieve this with just one point, um, and it would be fine. Be monk on uptime on mind numbing without the two points the two points help you with uptime of crippling not with uptime of mind numbing stuck in this one. Fuck! That guy blasted me. Damn, we were doing giga damn, though. Look at that. Before we died, we were actually in the top ten. I think Rod of the Sun King is a pretty good option here. Uh, the thing with this uh, fight is with this debuff, uh, or the buff they have. Uh, no cells down, we, he's got a lot of our debuffs. Oh, shit. Well, you might need, you might need wound. No stealth down again. Yeah, that's smart. Oof. Oh god, are we losing our cloaks here? Please no. Hunter's about to go down. One, two, three, four, five. We're okay. We're okay. It doesn't look I mean it doesn't look pretty. Anyways, what I was talking about before was They've got this buff where damage from area of effect source is reduced by 75%, which means the physical damage that your Fan of Knives ability deals is substantially less significant on this fight. It's all about the poison damage. So the fact that Rod of the Sun King has shitty weapon DPS and shitty physical damage doesn't matter as much as it normally does. The fact that Titan Steel Spellblade 
does insane physical damage with Fan of Knives doesn't matter as much as it normally does. Um, so, like, I think Rod's a pretty good choice here. The extra energy giving you extra Fan of Knives casts. And then, um, as combat, I've found that, like, uh, mo most of the times I've looked at it, it's like, man, if you're doing a lot of fan and knife stuff, you still want to fast offhand to just trigger combat potency more. Are we good yet? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Also, Fell Striker gives you only physical critical strike chance. So this is definitely a no-go as combat. Um, but it's still probably good to go as assassination. Uh, Cause the, I mean, critical strike with physical damage, your physical damage super reduced, that part's not significant, but it's still a critical strike that's restoring you energy from your focused attacks talent. Okay. There we go. Alright, Twin Valkyr next. Back on to instant... Well, we were using instant deadly, but we've got our dragon and our blade twister. Convict is tanking Lightbane, is that correct? Uh, who am I kidding? I'm tricksing a Warlock on pull anyways. I don't need to give a shit about which uh, tank is doing what. Yeah. Alright, let's see it. Close enough. People wanted to do trinket swaps, apparently. I guess we'll do that. It'll give me just a little bit of time at the start to set things up, uh, which is nice. Because, uh, like, if you have your trinkets pop, like, literally on pull, you don't have your blade flurry set up yet. You don't have your slice set up. Things aren't in position. If you have, like, a five or ten second delay on them, then it's then it's really ideal. Yeah, that wasn't perfect. I didn't hit the blade flurry as soon as the dark matter came up. Which is a mistake. It should have been um, uh, a couple seconds earlier. Yep. 
Okay. Dark Vortex, we might pop off with a Empower uh, buff here. 99, 97, yep, there we go. Uh, I think I'm not going to do much with this, though. I still want to hit the Killing Spree and a Blade Flurry, which, never mind, I don't think that's going to happen. These bosses are almost dead. We might not get that second Blade Flurry. What do we have? Titanium Razor Plate, Trophy, Crusader Orb, Trophy, Whale of the Valkyr, Lupine Longstaff, Sabatons of Ruthless Judgment. Okay. And you delay the cloak enchant like with the trinkets? Uh, actually, no, you can't. Because equipping and unequipping a cloak does not trigger the internal cooldown of effects associated with the cloak the only item slot that actually does that where you have a internal cooldown on a proc like like with a trinket and equipping and unequipping it triggers the internal cooldown the only slot that does that is trinkets so like your hygel ring that has an internal cooldown proc you can just swap it on immediately have it proc your shattered sun necklace uh, same thing. You can swap it on, immediately have it proc. Weapons like Warglaives of Azanoth, you can swap on the set, immediately get the 450 haste bonus proc. There's no internal cooldown from equipping on anything other than trinkets. ICC ring, yep, you could do that too. Yep, I got wound on my other dragon. We're unironically going with the Life Ward dragon here, just to give us extra insurance of surviving. Hang on, let me double check some assignments. Okay. Okie dokie, pull timer. Let's go. Fix my warlock, buddy. Four, three, two, one. Free pot. Oh, I didn't- ah, fuck. I was supposed to killing spree right at the very start of the encounter. 
I forgot about that. They're calling for more damage on the ads. There, I can hit a killing spree. Okay, that, that was really bad because there's a big, big delay on uh, using my killing spree. I should have been able to get two killing sprees in before the burrow, but uh, no. Not with that ugly delay. I think you get two in before the burrow. It's like 90 seconds, right? So you could get that. Okay. Okay, we chillin'. We chillin'. Uh, we're not burning my Cloak of Shadows. We're gonna save the Cloak of Shadows until it's actually in Phase 3. And I think if I hit a Cloak right now, it might not be available for Phase 3. Fucking back to back shit. Oh, we should switch to our Life Ward Dragon now. Okay, holding coolies. And hit some fans, but we're not using coolies until it's uh, phase three. Still not gonna cloak of shadows that. I probably could have cloak of shadows like the first one, but not phase three, so I don't want to burn my cloak. Dude, how many penetrating clothes did I get this fight? <laughs> Is it like the fifth one? Maybe sixth one? Don't have cloak for this one. Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> How many fucking penetrating cold? Was that like eight? Seven? Eight? Nice, we got it. That's 50 attempts, boys. Look at that. Trophy, trophy, Crusader Orb, Nightbane Carapace Pattern. Should maybe get some of those. Uh, the, what are those? Those are pretty good, I think. Forgotten Martyr, Crusader Orb, Blade of the Unbroken Covenant, caster item, yikes. Vanquisher, Vanquisher. Magni's Resolution, Tanking Cloak, Protector Token, Protector Token again, Deepening a Void, Lifeless Touch, Signet of the Traitor King. Nice. Ha, 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 ha. 
All right, we do have a 10 man to do after this one though. Yeah, but you cloak it once, and then you get it three more times, and then it's... <laughs> oh yeah, I cloaked the first one, then I healthstoned the second one, and then I just kept getting it. <laughs> and I got it a whole bunch of times before Leeching Swarm started, too. Swear to God, my Life Ward Golden Serenite Dragon was putting in work. So good. Okay, no combat weapons dropped, no Death's Choice dropped, no Comet's Trail, no Cunning Deception. Uh, I lost the roll on reply code. Man. There was basically no good loot. Wait, wasn't there- wait, I think there was one rogue item that dropped? Fuck, I'm trying to remember. It was in Trial of the Crusader. What- what boss- Hmm... Let's see, it wasn't legs or, or dagger off the first boss. It wasn't Charge of the Demon Lord. It, I think it was something off of, uh... You know what? I don't even remember. There were some Vanquisher tokens. Obviously, Rogue Pryo on those. Alright, so they're doing a little bit of loot allocation. Shattered Fellowship. Pass. Pass, pass. Ass. As combat, I can probably make those into an upgrade. Let's see. Let's go real quick over to the simulation tool. Okay, close enough. I think I can upgrade these two slots as combat, but it's... I'm, I'd assume it's a wash... Oh, no, wait, no. The shoulder... The shoulder has expertise on it, doesn't... Never mind. Uh, never mind. I thought the trophies were good for me. They're not actually good. I accidentally pressed alt upgrade. Bro, it was like about to be good, but then the shoulder had expertise on it. And that's a problem. <laughs> and I've got solars on this character and like intruders too that I'm not even using. <laughs> Man. Man. It's rough. <laughs> Playing rogue. Trying to gear a rogue. And change bracers. Ah, uh, well, I'd have to actually have some other bracers. If I wanted to change bracers. Alright, we have a 10 man after this. Um...
Yeah, I mean, look, we, we can uh, we can try that. Look, solar bindings into uh, bracers of swift death. And then we go shoulder. Van Cleefs. We need the non-heroic Van Cleefs. Bright. This should be bright. This should be... Uh, yep, yeah, okay. Now we redo it. Alright, it's literally a wash. <laughs> Not statistically significant. God damn it, it's so hard to upgrade. <laughs> Sorry, what? I mean, if you got an extra, I'll take one, but I, I can't actually use it right now. Okay. I wonder if I equip intruders here. Is that better? Probably way over expertise. No, wait, I'm probably... Oh, I'm like right on target expertise. Wait, no. Oh, yeah, that is right. Yeah, still... It's still just a wash. 